Hello guys. So we have some early birds here. Okay, you're frozen. <laughs> is it me or is it you? All right, those of you who are here, pop in the chat and let us know if I'm frozen or if Jen is frozen. Because I am seeing Jen frozen. Ginger, same. It's Jen for you. Okay. Oh, bummer. Okay. All I see her is like this. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you guys see or not, but okay. So maybe she will hop off and then hop back on. Jen, if you can hear us, you are frozen and you will need to hop off. So, okay. I know she's at her husband's office and that may be the cause of it. Okay, you're back, but you're muted. Hey, I'm back. What happened? I went away. You were like frozen. You were frozen. <laughs> I think it was yours because everybody in the chat said it was you. So oh, it probably was. It's okay. I mean, I'm on now. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So everybody can see us both now. Angie, you can see her. Um, Jen is live. Susan said she's back. So yay. I'm back. Hello, guys. We have the dynamic duo here in person. <laughs> and it's before <laughs> one o'clock, so we're still good. I had to kind of rush her along, had to get my broom out and kind of whip her a little bit to get her here. But <laughs> we got four minutes to spare. So make sure that you are on speaker view and we're both pinned for the replay people. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you what I needed to do. So say that Up on the time. view, it needs to be speaker view. And, um, and then just put add pin for me and add pin for you. Just make sure we're both pinned so you can see us both. And then that's what will show up. Um, okay. So pin and then pin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Hey, you guys who are here, y'all are like, I don't know why you showed up early for us, but we're excited that you did. Yeah, and we want to see your faces. So if you don't mind turning on your camera, we would love that. Please do. Yeah, we're we're worry. shocked that you showed up early because you know we're never early. So we are never early. But here Jen, we are. Good to see you, Ginger, <laughs> Kim. I see the names popping up. Oh, it's so fun. There <laughs> we go. Oh, I'm looking at myself here. Look, a AJ got all dolled up for y'all. I am not quite as dolled up. I don't know about dolled up. I was actually in a t-shirt and I thought, you know what? That probably maybe isn't the best thing to wear on a live video like this. So I changed real quick. This was You're literally so like laying on my dresser. So <laughs> <laughs> I sent the email. Yeah, we, we, we have sent all the emails. So apologies if you've gotten emails from me, from Sojo and from Jen this week, which you probably have like- yeah. You've gotten all the emails, so all thank the you emails. for us. But you know what? If you're anything like us, you don't always see or read all the emails. And so we felt like right. we need to give you a good opportunity to see and read the emails. So yes, yes, because you know what? We, I, I mean, I know this happens every time we will get emails Saturday or Monday from people saying, oh, I haven't I opened your it. emails in a while and yeah. I missed this. Is there any way I can still get this? And we're like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I do that with other people's emails, right? Yeah. I'm like, I missed it. So anyway, yeah. so we yeah. And I mean, you have intentions of getting caught up eventually, but you, you know, you just don't realize that it's a limited time thing. So, oh, I love that ginger ginger. These bundles were right on time. I went to the creative bundles to find art, to decorate my soja <gasps> bundle, starting Yay. Romans eight study. Woohoo. Yay. That's good. Very, very that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. That's one of the things we want to know. If you have, if you have purchased the bundle, what you're starting with, but it's almost one o'clock. So do you want to officially start for the replay people? Well, we're still a minute early. Okay. A minute early. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and see, I'm not we used to are, being early. people popping on. You are so not used to this. You don't even know how to handle it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. She like texted me like 10 minutes ago. Says, are we coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? I'm like, Ah, I'm early. I'm early. So I'm happy yeah, because I told her, I told her 
I'm sending the email out at 1250 and I'm going live at 1250 and she missed it. I did not miss it. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so finally I just messaged her and said, okay, I'm going live without you then. I know. She says, I guess I'm going to do this all passive aggressive. I was like, all right, go. No, I just told you I'm, I'm going live without you. Yeah. I've told these people I'm going live. So I got to keep my word. <laughs> no, we're here. We're good. We're excited. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. It is one o'clock though. So yeah. It's one o'clock. Okay. So kick us off, Jen. Like give us an official welcome. Like we actually are important or something. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> well, we are important. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Welcome. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our chat. Our This is just a Friday afternoon chat. We decided that um, we this is our last day of our big Bible study bundle, um, the big sale that we're having. Those of you probably are aware of it if you open the emails, but we wanted to have the opportunity to really see you guys face to face. If you've already purchased the bundle or you've done the Bible studies to talk to us about them, where you are. And if you have any questions to ask those, and also for us to answer some of the questions that have come up a lot, because as I mentioned, we are get coming down to the wire on this and it will never be done again. So we want to make sure that we get all the questions answered and we just want to say hello and for you to meet us and hear our hearts about it a little bit. So I don't know if that's the introduction that you wanted, but that is we're here. That's yeah, that's great. And if you have purchased the bundle, please do pop in the chat and let us know and let us know what study you plan to start on first. And if you haven't, let us know why, because we would love to help you decide if it's the right purchase for you or not. And if it's not, we will like, we will legitimately tell you. So we would love to kind of just put that baby to rest for you. And you can either purchase it and feel great about it or say no and feel good about that decision too. So yeah, 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 good. And Cynthia just said she purchased it for herself and her daughter-in-law. And I love that because this is really yeah. a spectacular gift. Uh, if you have someone that you feel like, uh, or maybe you've been in Sojo and you've done these studies, but you feel like there's somebody that could, else that could benefit from them. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. We've had a few people ask this question. So I guess we could just start with this question. If you want to purchase it for someone else, then all you literally have to do is after you purchase it, put their email address in. Now, caveat, let them know you have done this. Let yes. them know, or else they might be a little confused when they start to get this big thing and they don't know what's happening. So, um, so yeah, but but I think that is awesome that you did that and you were able to share that with your daughter-in-law. Um, what a blessing, what a blessing. Yeah, actually we had that happen earlier somebody purchased it for somebody else and they got the emails and the person them. responded to us and was like, I didn't buy this. Please cancel this order. <laughs> it took it was, us a little bit actually to figure out that it had been gifted to her by somebody else. It was like, they were very upset. They yeah. Were very upset. Yeah. They were upset. They're like, I didn't buy this. <laughs> Someone <laughs> bought it for you. That's the great news. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Was, that was fun. so that's great. She benefit from structured study. I I think yeah. that's awesome. And the the thing about this bundle and Cynthia, um, you know, I know you said you bought it for her for your daughter in law, but the there's something in it for regardless of your study style. So you're talking yeah. about structured studies. There are so many different over the years. There have been so many different styles of studies, not just topics. Obviously, mm -hmm. there are 50 different topics. Um, actually, I think two of the studies might be the same topic. Fruit of the Spirit has two studies in it. But regardless, there are basically um, all these different topics, but there's also different styles. So if you tend to be more, um, you know, there's different techniques. But as I was going through them, I realized that we do an entire, do you, know that, do you remember this, AJ, when we first started? In our one of our first book studies on Haggai, we actually taught how to do a book study yeah. on the biographical study, the first biographical study back in 2019. I think it was called Women of the Word. We actually teach how to do a biographical study that you can do yeah. then with any other character in the Word of God. Yeah. So it's just, so it's more than, it's got a lot of instruction that you can use for other study as well. So I yeah. I'd forgotten that we even did that. <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, really, 
our study styles have changed over the years and they're all reflected in there. And Mm -hmm. also there are some devotionals that are more like expositional and it teaches you, like our goal is to teach you how to fish so that you can then feed yourself from now on. Right. So our studies are more like, they're not a lot of commentary. So some of them are expositional, but then we do have some that are more devotional in style and format, because we know that some people really enjoy that kind of study. And so Mm -hmm. there are a lot less, I wouldn't say less deep because they're still pretty deep, but they're, they're less like expositional and more like practical or like, here's how we are applying it to our everyday life. It's more devotional in, in content. So yeah, really there's something for everybody. Yeah. And along those lines, Melinda was asking about, she wanted us to speak more towards the Bible study cheat sheets the bundle cheat sheet that we that we offered as um as you know you have the opportunity to purchase it's just an extra it's not actually a study but um to consider which to do first so here's the reason for the cheat sheets and and it took about 6 hours to create this to go through all the studies and do it so just just FYI I mean I I it it took a it took quite a while because we went through every study and categorize them in different categories. I'm not sitting with it in front of me, but so I'm hoping I get this right, but there are topical studies. And then under the topical studies, there are multiple topics, right? Then there is book studies. Under the book studies, there's Old Testament, New Testament. There are passage studies, which are more like chapter studies or passage studies, New Testament, Old Testament. There are biographical studies, which the topics, I mean, the categories are, um, biblical. And then we also have historical. So we did some studies on uh, historical women of faith. This was particularly during, uh, I think it was the end of 2020, looking at people, how they handled crisis, because of course, everybody remembers 2020. And then also we did in our hymn study, we've included biographies of the hymn writers. And so although those are not biblical, they are definitely have a lot of biblical um, they point to different precepts, biblical precepts. So, so we divided them all out in the cheat sheet into, so we kind of have this first overarching mind map that says, where do you want to start? And you pick one. Then the next several pages, I can't remember how many, maybe five or six pages. We have divided up the studies, have a, a picture of the image, which every study has a professionally designed workbook. Okay, this is a big deal. That that in of itself is a really big deal. But we have the image of the study so you know where to find it. And then we also have a brief one to two sentence description of the study, what you'll get out of it. So it's basically that, so you say, okay, I want to do a book study. I think I want to do a New Testament book study. And then you look and say, okay, do I want to do Colossians? Do I want to do... Um, you know, Timothy, Galatians. Yeah. yeah, Which, which study do I want to do? And then, you know, do I want to do Peter first? I don't remember his first or second Peter. I can't remember, but, but the, you know, so then you look at the descriptions and make a decision, which you feel like um, the Holy Spirit's leading you to. So that's what the cheat sheets are for. They're really just an adjunct and they're just a way to let you know the direction of your study. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you can do that by yourself. You don't need the cheat sheet to do it, but it will take you a little bit of time to figure out. And Cynthia, thank you for that. Cynthia said it was worth the extra cost, good information and helpful. Yeah. So that's great. Susan, the last day to purchase, you're giving me an idea of what, who to share with. Excellent. Share with others. What time tonight? So this, the sale, typically we end at midnight, right? Everybody just always ends at midnight, but because of Pacific time, I believe the timer is out at 3 a.m. Eastern, which is midnight Pacific. Right. Mm -hmm. I always want to say specific, but it's Pacific. 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 (laughs) So midnight, midnight our time. It's yeah. when the time, when the, when it runs out, the timer runs out. Um, how does it work if we choose to share with some friends from church, one of the Bible studies? So here's the thing with that, Kim, if you want to people, everybody can purchase their own full bundle if they want. So you can send them the link. They can purchase the bundle on their own. That's one way to do it. And if you send them to sojoacademy.com slash mega, 
they can do that. And then everybody will have all 50, right? Or you can purchase for them, of course. Or the third option is something that is kind of new. Some of you guys may have taken advantage of it. And it's our group license. So AJ, you want to tell mention that real quickly for Kim? Yes, because we actually do have quite a few people that want to share their studies with either a single person in their church or a group, a small group in their home or community, wherever, where prison ministries, it doesn't matter. Um, if you want to share them, we are trying to make that as simple as possible and as cost effective as possible. So what we've done is we've added a group license, a group use license that you can add on to your order. If you've already placed your order, email us, we can send you the link to do that. Or actually we can drop it here if anybody's interested. Um, and that is, it allows you to use all of the studies in the bundle, all 50 studies in a in-person small group of up to 20 people. So you can use these from, from now on, you know, for, for years and years and years and years, you can hold studies in your group, in your home or at church or wherever it is you want to do. The cost of that is 150. It's a flat fee for use of all of them. Now, normally we offer our license for a group use for $75 a study per study. And that's typically about the going rate for things like this. So the cost of two studies, you have it covered. Mm -hmm. um, so we've tried to make it as accessible as possible because we do want, like one of our core values in Sojo Academy is to empower leadership in other women. You don't have to be a minister. You don't have to be, you know, on staff at your church. We want to empower every woman to disciple other women. And this is one of the ways that we have seen that we can do that. So we want you to be able to use these in your small group. So that's how to do that. If anybody is interested in that link, we can look it up. I don't have yeah. it. Right uh, I can look it up. You ha you have to have purchased the study, obviously, to uh, the bundle. Right. to you. So you cannot use this license with other like studies that you've gotten through Sojo Academy. It's just for the bundle because it right. can be a little confusing because the, they're, they're a little different. Not every study that we did in Sojo Academy is included in the bundle. So you have to, um, it's for the bundle studies. And one caveat I would want to mention that, um, is that this is for in-person license. So this is not for an online group. So that's really important to differentiate. So the, and the, which obviously this is what, that's what AJ was saying. This is one of our, the things that we want to encourage you is to get together with women in person. So this is not for like, if you have an online ministry of some sort, then these, that license does not cover that. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully that answers that question. Yeah. And, and I can grab that. Time. I can grab that. <laughs> um, the individual license if uh if you've already purchased the um the bundle then you can and you did not pick up the license and you want the license you can do that the other thing is the creatives um there is the creative bundle on the back end of it too that you can purchase that i noticed i'm, I'm mentioning this because i noticed someone when they first when you first came in i think it was before the recording but ginger was saying she picked up the creative bundle and she's decorating her uh binders with it and she's starting the Romans 8 study. And so there is a creative bundle as well. And some people may have missed it because it's, you know, a little bit later. If you did happen to miss that, then I'm going to go ahead and send that link in here too for that. And it yeah. is 31 creative kits, which are basically Bible journaling kits, printable. It's 270 printable pages. Uh, for $35. Okay. So, so Jen, I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you screen share what that looks like? Because guys, this is, this is really special. It re it really is. This is a way to really just slow down and be creative in your studies. And also just to make all sorts of amazing things. I mean, we've had women who make cards to send out, like one of their monthly goals in Sojo is to send encouraging cards to people. They use these kits to do that. Um, decorate your prayer journal, your, of course, your Bible as you're doing Bible journaling. There's just so many different ways to use this. Um, you're really missing out if you didn't see it. So she just went black on me. <laughs> I'm assuming she's having um, internet issues again. If we can get her back, 
I will very much put her on there because she needs to show this. And gender, yes, there's it includes coloring pages. I mean, these creative kits really are useful because they there's just such a variety in there. And I'm not a creative person. Per, well, I take that back. Everybody is a creative person. Everybody has their own creativity. I typically don't do this kind of thing. Um, but I, even I have used these kits to do like note cards and to decorate my prayer journal and stuff. So, um, these, this is a, a really big deal. If you are into that, you really need to know about it. So I'm letting people in and I'm just going to try to see if I can add Jen back as a co-host real quick. Let me find the participants. She must be having really poor internet. Um, Natasha says, thank you for making these bundles available. Um, we, we hope that it is a blessing. That is our prayer, that it will be a blessing to you guys and that it will be a resource. Like, okay, there's, there's a verse that my husband, <laughs> both of us love books, right? And when he, when we first got married, he said, I I'm giving us permission to buy books because there's a Proverbs and I don't know what it is right now. I can't, I, I didn't memorize the reference, but it says buy the truth and sell it not. And he's like, that's our permission. So, so you can give yourself permission to build your own spiritual resource library, your spiritual growth library. And this is a great way to do it because um, it's, it's less than a dollar a Bible study you know, so please, um, avail yourself of it if you haven't yet. Okay. I'm still not seeing Jen back. So she must've hopped off. Okay. So we'll wait for her to share that when she gets back, but are there any other questions that I can be answering about the bundle? And if not, I did promise a story. So it's a good story too. Um, hey. so yeah, I just talked you into another bundle. Well, good. <laughs> You'll have hey, to tell us. I'm back. Okay, good. Yay. Is your internet weird today? Is that what it is? I, I'm at, well, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at my husband's office at church, so it shouldn't be, it should be fine. But anyway, here I am. Yeah, oh, okay. can you see me? Wait, where's my camera? Yeah. I'm, you're not on screen oh, yet. Here okay. I am. Here I am. I'm back. Let me make you. I was getting ready to share my screen. I was waiting for you to finish. I was going to share my screen. And all of a sudden I was like, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't me. I uh, know. I was like, did you kick me out? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. Okay. I'm going to add you as the pin. And if you want to share your screen, we're ready. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where you were in talking because I was kicked out, but I'm going to. Yeah. Just go ahead. I'm going to go share my screen. Um, let me pull it up here. Okay. So what AJ was talking about was this bundle. And again, it is a super, super fun thing. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the page that you're going to get to. Uh, no, I'm lying. That's not the page that you get to. Let me find the page. Hold on one second. I'm going to go behind the scenes. Y'all don't look. Um, <laughs> You're airing our dirty laundry. <laughs> I know. I really am. Let's look here. Okay, here we go. This is it. Um, okay, so here is the bundle. And if you look here, these are, there's 31 kits, all right? And the we normally sell these kits for $15 each. So there we're, we're selling 31 for, um, for $35. But here is kind of just an example uh, of the different things that are on there. And it's hard for, I don't know if you can even see, I can't really make this bigger. Um, but there are, what you can kind of tell is that there are different, um, like printable elements and papers and they coordinate with many, many, many of the Bible studies. Okay. So as I'm seeing fact, some Christmas you know, ones in there. That looks fun. There are, there's a, there are so many, let me, I, I, can I go even more behind the scenes here? I'm going to yeah, really, please. really, I'm going to really tell on us. I really should stop sharing for this, but I'm not going to because y'all are family, right? <laughs> uh, let me go to this. So this is no secrets with sisters. I know we are totally not 
I want to find it here so you can get a general idea. Okay, here is a good idea. So this is, you can kind of see them up close and personal a little bit better. Look at all this beautiful stuff. I mean, isn't this gorgeous? So like this right here is like holding fast. This is the gospel and hymns. This is, and it's tiny. This is the law and the promise. Living complete. This is battle ready. Um, this is the Lord's prayer. So it goes on and on and on. And there's 31 of them. And so one, what you can do with these is you can do Bible journaling. You can do um, cards, as AJ mentioned. You can just use it to decorate your planner. There are digital papers that you can print out that coordinate with it. So I'm a little passionate about it because I study visually. I tend to be very visual when I study, when I, when I do anything, there's a lot of color. And so it helps me to get the precepts that I'm learning in my heart more effectively if I have something visual to hang on to. Not everybody is like that. So that may not be you. But if that is you, then it's going to be worth it to grab this bundle. It's 270 pages. Um, they're they're themed. There, there's just it's it's a good it's a good thing. And I'm not, I'm only sharing it because this is the only time we've ever bundled these together like this. These were all things that we used in Sojo Academy. So if you're in Sojo and you've used these before, you know you can attest to how um, helpful they can be if that happens to be how you learn. So yeah, and help? I would just, I would just say this too, that these are also well thought out. It's not just something we just hurriedly throw together. Like when we sit down with our study, we really, as we're writing the study, we're looking for themes. We're thinking, we're looking yes. for words, for concepts that really stand out to us. And then from those words, we'll create these creative kits. So maybe their, their words are like, promise and law. And so what are we visualizing? You, you know, visually, what do we see when we think of those words and those then become those creative elements. So there's like a lot of thought and prayer and just processing mm -hmm. that goes on as we create these. They're not like stock photos that we just pull from the internet. And, right. you know, it's like we, we really do design them and we give them to a designer and they come up with this stuff. So there's a lot that goes into it. And honestly, most of them, most of the kits were done. They were hand drawn. The yeah. elements are hand drawn. So you will not find them elsewhere. There are some that are not. There are some that were created digitally on the computer because that's more of my speed. But that we have, uh, but there is a designer that we hired to do most of them and she hand drew them and then uploaded them digitally. So you can kind of tell, I, know, I love that style. And if you love that style, you'll love these. Um, Kim, you, you have all but 11 and you're strongly considering getting it because of those 11. I mean, they're 15, they're, the, the value is about $15 each. And if you look at Bible journaling kits, printable Bible journaling kits, like online, you'll see that's pretty consistent. So, but we just wanted to offer it as a fun little extra bonus for those of you who not everybody is going to like that or want that, but if you're like me, it might be worth it. So mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. It really is beautiful. So are we waiting on your story now? I don't know. You guys want my story or do y'all have questions? <laughs> yeah. What I, your, I, I'm, I'm curious. I have no idea what her story is, guys. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I hope this, I hope y'all didn't show up just for the story. <laughs> uh, Cynthia, that, yes. That sale ends today as well. That sale is yeah. on the back end of the bundle. But if you purchase the bundle, and didn't grab it, then I just put the link here in the chat. And I think I still have it as a copy. Yes. So there it is again. Um, and you can always email us and we can get it to you. But yes, that it all, it'll all kind of end at the end of the day today. Yeah. I um, ask a question audibly. Yeah, oh. sure. Where? I'm dyslexic and I, yeah, I, I find it amazing that people can write all those questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I think you've answered my question with, I just, I, I've been trying to work out all week, um, but I've been chronically sick, so I've just been limited, but um, I've been trying to work out how you, how much the creative bundle was and, and how much the group license was, because it, it didn't say, and I couldn't find a single page where to add it, Um, when I followed each link, it was just showing me the normal mm -hmm. thing and then add the cheat sheet 
And I was like, yeah, but where's the other things? So so now I've got the links because that was quite frustrating. So can so with the links, will it if I add all of those things and the cheat sheet, it will add it all to uh yes, if you to the basket or something. Yes. And that's why they're not individual um links because uh, once you purchase the bundle, then you have the opportunity to purchase. Oh, the okay. License. It and didn't then, say that, so I didn't want to risk it. And then... yeah, I'm sorry. That was probably um not a great communication on our part. But um, so because yeah. and the reason for that is because obviously the license it doesn't help you without the bundle. So and then the creative was just an extra little bonus. But honestly. I, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm talking out of turn here, AJ, but if anybody wants to purchase just the creative thing, you've got the link there. Yeah. Go for the it. The license is not, is not helpful without the bundle, but the creatives, right. if you just want to get the creatives on their own, if you already have the studies, then go ahead and grab those. We, we want to offer those. We just, that wasn't the main thing that we were looking at. Cause our main thing was looking at um, getting these Bible studies in people's yeah. hands. But, um, but absolutely, if that's something that interests you and, and to, answer, to answer your question, when you buy one, if you add them on, it just all goes there together. Okay. And because I'm thinking about, I feel like God's possibly in the future when I'm healed, um, which I know is going to happen. Um, I possibly might be doing a Bible journaling class. And so mm. can I use those elements in there if I buy the group license? Um, the licenses for the study at this point uh, uh, are for the studies right now. We'll have to think about that and talk about that. Um, but right now the group license is, is for the Bible studies. Um, we don't have a license thus far for the elements because they're not, they're what we call personal use. They're not commercial use at this point. Um, but there's a little bit of difference between commercial use and license. I agree. So if you want to email us at hello at sojoacademy.com yeah. we can we can think through that with you because we definitely want you to be able to do what you feel called to do in the most efficient way possible so okay. yeah email and, us yeah um just have one more question being dyslexic with the bible um i forgot what they're called um <laughs> brain fog um with the bible studies is that because ones that I've found that are free online and stuff, it's all they're all devotionals and and it tells you to read this passage and then you're then it just leaves loads of blanks for you to write in writing, which I absolutely hate. I I hate writing so much, and I also don't think I know the answer even when I've read it because I've not got great comprehension, and I wondered whether it would fit me in. Does it tell you some of the information? Does it tell? I I don't want to be spoon fed, but I. I do want it to tell me some truths that I can really try and store in my heart and be like, oh, okay, I didn't know the Bible was saying that, or I didn't know that was, um, rather than me having to be like, oh, what does this mean? What, what do I write in this blank where they've written lines and <laughs> and I never end up doing them because, yeah, I it yeah. seems like homework to me. And I'm like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, I, that's a really good question. And I think the answer is going to vary a little bit study to study yeah. because we do have more that are, as Jen was talking a little before about our, some of our first studies, we were really like teaching you how to do a book study and walking you through that process. So it really depends on the study in terms of <clears throat> how deep we're asking you to look at the passage. But overall, we do try to teach you how to study it for yourself. So we're not, we're not including a lot of commentary and answers. And maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know if we, if, if we want to just pull up a random study page and show that Jen, maybe yeah. that you keep talking helpful. and I'll try to find one. All right. Just, just so you can kind of see what's inside one of our studies. Um, and again, this probably won't be representative of all of them because they're all just so different. Um, Jen's writing style is different than mine. The study types, you know, between topical and biographical and all the ones that we do, um, it's going to be a little different, but if we can give you kind of an inside look at what we have 
Um, I think that's probably the best thing. And also if anybody wants like a walkthrough of the checkout process, if you find that that might be helpful, we can do that too. We can show you like exactly where to add certain things to your order along the way if you are confused, because that is something that we've actually heard a lot of you guys on is that where do I add this to my order? So we can walk through that too, if you want. I, I also want to mention, can you go ahead and mention one of the, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm multitasking. I don't mean to be rude, but one of the things is that, you know, you're talking about not knowing whether it's right or wrong. We get this a lot in Sojo Academy, right? Yeah. People want the answers and the answers are often different for each of us. It depends on what the Holy Spirit is saying to us in a lot of these circumstances. And that is one way in which having a group of women to study with, like Sojo, is actually uh, um, important. And I think this can tie in to someone asked, she's curious what the changes to the new Bible study will be, uh, Kim. Um, so maybe you can just mention briefly what is happening in Sojo Academy. So that way, if you're not a member, it, that this might fit you really well because we do things together. <clears throat> Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Sojo Academy is we are a monthly community. So a monthly Bible study community. So we go through the same study together each month and every week we meet to talk about um, the theme of the study, what it is we're learning. We have a coffee chat where the ladies share what they're taking away. We also have a dedicated time where we just quietly do our study together so that if you need to get caught up, you have time in your schedule to do that. So what we, and we've done that for the past almost six years. So what we are going to do starting next month in September is instead of providing a monthly workbook, what we're going to do is over the course of four months, we're going to do an Old Testament survey. So if you've never read through the Old Testament, or if you think, if you're scared of the Old Testament, if you're like, I don't know what applies to us anymore versus what's still relevant, all of that sort of thing. <clears throat> this is going to give you a chance to walk through the Old Testament as a big overview. And really our focus is to identify Christ in the Old Testament and to see how it relates to the New Testament, right? Because that's, it's all one big story. And so what we're going to do instead of providing those monthly workbooks is each week, you're going to have a focus chunk of passage, a focus scripture that you're going to work through. And you're going to have questions to answer on that specific passage. And they're going to be, they're going to be simple. Like they're not going to be like, who was, you know, what's the significance of, of Jeroboam's, you know, widow mother, you know, like it's going to be something that you can actually answer from the text itself. We're going to let the text be the teacher and instructor. And so it's kind of going to be different from what we've had in the past where you have your monthly workbook that you sit down and you work through kind of on your own time. We are going to guide you through those big chunks of scripture over the course of four months so that by the end of the year, you have a, a complete overview of the old testament so and and what we're going to be doing is instead of us meeting four times a month like we have been jen and i are going to meet with you guys twice a month and we're going to give you the opportunity to be in a small group for discussion a sojo group of no more than eight people to discuss what you're learning and how God is teaching you to apply what you're learning to your life. So it's more of like of a discipleship kind of group, the other two weeks. So you still meet four times, but two of those is going to be in a small group where you really like get that personal iron sharpening iron kind of relationship. You build those relationships with our ladies and you just, you share what God's teaching you. So we are super excited about that. We do expect a few bumps and, you know, maybe a few bruises at the beginning as we figure out how to best facilitate everything and how to best, you know, help our groups become cohesive, that all of that stuff. Um, so bear with us if you're in Sojo Academy, which we know you guys do. You're awesome about that. Um, but we really believe that this is going to enhance our study time and really make this more of a more than just a Bible study community. Our goal has always been to live out God's word, not just be hearers of it, but become doers of it. And guys, 
we need this. We need every lay woman who claims the name of Jesus Christ to be powerful and effective in this generation. We need you guys, every one of you. And so our goal is to better equip us ourselves for doing what God has placed us here to do. As we've studied in Esther, each one of us was placed here for such a time as this, and we have to hold our torch high. And so this is one of the ways we feel we can equip you guys to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, so Natasha who says, and I think those of you who've gone through some of these studies can really help to illuminate light on this. Cause what we think we're doing may not be what we're actually doing, but I like to hear it. Natasha says that, um, she feels like the studies give you both shares insights on what you're reading through, but also gives a space to think through questions on your own too, and great prompts to help you along. So I, I appreciate that. And I appreciate, um, the balance. Um, I was going to show you a couple of the studies. I just I just put a few of them in my downloads folder. I mean, I have them somewhere else, but I just threw them all up here. So I'm going to share my screen and this is going to be super scary. So just ignore my downloads folder. Okay. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, I will answer Kim's follow-up question, the schedule, the times and the, the days of the week and stuff. So we do have about 12, um, small group facilitators already lined up, ready to, to do these small groups. And so they have a variety of times of, that they are available, a variety of days, times, some are, I think there's like a Friday night one for people who live overseas who may need, you know, something a little more flexible for them. Um, literally they're, they're all over the place. So hopefully there will be one that fits your schedule. Um, I think they're probably about every day of the week, except maybe Sunday. Um, but we will be letting you guys know about that and sign up for it in the next. Like very soon. Very soon. Yes. Very, very soon. soon. Very soon. All right. Let me just share this with you. Um, you'll probably see my whole screen, which is a nightmare, but I'm just going to briefly show you a couple of the studies that I just pulled up. This one's Colossians, for example. So this one is less. Uh, there's less devotional part in it. So I want you to kind of see what it is. So we talk about what to do, read it. Um, there's different cross-referencing. There is a little blurb on it. Okay. Um, but then most of it is what you do, what you, you know, you're going through. And each one, like I said, is definitely um, designed differently and, and really lovely. So as you see, some pages have, I mean, we give a little, I can't remember. I think this is one that I wrote and I tend to be a little more wordy than AJ just because that's just naturally how it comes to me. So I tend to sometimes probably share too many words, but so there's little, there's, there, there's a little bit of it's not commentary. We really try hard not to do commentary, but sometimes we it kind of all, almost falls into that um, that uh, commentary kind of moment. And then we start talking about, okay, now here's how you're going to see this. You need to see this for yourself because this is not just something we need to tell you. So see, there's a little more words here, and then it it gives you lots of things to do. As you if you can see from this, this is a deep study. This is a deep study walking through every verse in Colossians, okay? So this next one I pulled up, this is a little different. This is the gospel in hymns. This one is we give a hymn. We talk about the author. We talk about application, study. Um, and this is kind of what each of these days is. So that one's a little different. Um, this is one that we really enjoyed writing that was Old Testament narratives in and comparing it to Romans 8. So um, you'll see an Old Testament story. There's a review here. This is more devotional uh, here. It's, so this one has a little more devotional component every, uh, every with every like Old Testament encounter. Um, and then it compares it to Romans 8. So like that's one. Here's another lesson from Ezekiel. And you'll see there's a little devotional component um, so there's that to give you an idea. This is our Romans eight study. Oh, what just happened? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Our Romans eight study. And it is, uh, the one that is, it's complementary to the revealed study. You can even tell even the colors are complementary and we go through, through Romans eight verse by verse. 
So there is there there are answers. There are questions for you to have to dig in and answer, but we hopefully guide you through them well. Uh, let's see what else did I pull up. Esther study is so Esther study is it looks like this. Um, and it goes through Esther expositionally. So you kind of get an idea of that. And there is a devotional component to this too. Um, whoops, that's not one. And then let's get rid of that. Um, and then like unshakable confidence. This is one that was early on. It's a little bit earlier on. So I just threw this one up here, the AJ Rune. And this one is, you can kind of get an idea. Same thing though. There's charts, there's different things to answer. It is deep. Um, some of them are divided into days. Some of them are divided into just lessons. Um, so yeah, so that kind of gives you a general idea. I don't know if that helps or not, but that is what I pulled up. Yeah, I think that's very helpful because that is, you know, if you if you wondered what they look like, then you had plenty of opportunities to see the variety in there. Um, mm -hmm. Deanna asks if we have a reference sheet for the podcast that goes with the studies and we do not. Um, probably the best thing to do for that though, is to go to sojohub.com. Yeah. I can share that too, if you want me to. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and just kind of see, because when we started the podcast, we did kind of the whole theme of our podcast is to complement the studies that we were doing at the time. So they pretty much align. There are some that don't, but pretty much they align with the studies and many of those are included in the bundle. So, um, yeah, if, Jen, if you want to. Yeah. So that. if you go to sojohub.com, this is the main page for it. And, um, and, and it, it will send you either to Sojo Academy, um, or Sojo show, which is our podcast here. Um, or Sojo Marketing Solutions, which is another branch of Sojo. But this is what we're talking about here. And if you go down here, you'll see the episodes. And like, let, let's go, if we go all the way back, we started this two and a half years ago, you can see here's our Proverbs. So these are, and it says that's the Proverbs series. So that is our Proverbs study that we did in January of, I guess, 2022 then, because isn't that when we started this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and then it just as, as examples, next we have, these are biographical studies that we did. Um, Martha, Sarah, Hannah, Deborah, and we did a podcast on each one. Here's our hymn study. So you'll see, it'll say the series. So it's, it, you, you can find them here. Um, there are some mixed in that are not based on the studies, but like, this is the Lord's prayer series. So these were the Lord's prayer uh, back to the basics, you can kind of tell which Bible study it is, the anxiety Bible study. So I hope that helps. So sojohub.com, and this gives you just bonus content for each study. Here's Romans 8 revealed. This one was the promises of the cross. That was not part of, it was not a Bible study. That was something different that we do every spring. Um, strong and courageous lessons from Joshua. So you'll be able to see all of those Bible studies in the bundle and can find the coordinating so I mean Sojo show episodes since we st we only started that in January of 2022 which was 3 years into Sojo Academy. Yeah. Yeah, and that really is a great addition to your study. So I definitely recommend going there and checking it out and just seeing if there are podcasts for your study that you've chosen. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to let you answer Lynn's question about being fillable on the computer if we need to print them and how to get them if you don't want to print them all. Um, okay, so are they fillable on the computer? Okay, so they are not, They there are people who do them on an app, like, I don't even know the names of the apps. So OneNote, OneNote is one, one of them, note. I know. So there are people who do them on their iPad, they download them to their iPad and they do them there. What I don't know is whether they fill them in and type or they write on their, you know, have the pen on their iPad. I apologize for not knowing the answer to that question. They are, but they, they are not specifically fillable PDFs to answer your question. Like they're not, there's not a spot to type, if that helps. Now there are some apps that will make it fillable, but I, I don't, that's not the way that either of us study. So we don't know if anybody on this chat knows and if it's done that way, let us know. 
Yeah. Um, we have a lot. Good notes. Christina says, yeah. There we go. An rock. iPad pen. So Christina uses her pen. Yeah. I think most people do use the, the pen on with mm-hmm. the notes. Yeah. But um, I mean, I just wanted to say that if you like printing out 50 studies is just not realistic. That's not going to happen. Um, so what I would suggest if you, if you do work better with a, with like hard papers, um, take it to a print shop and just do one at a time. Um, just focus on the one that you're studying and you can get it. You can get them printed for a couple bucks. Um, if you want to have it bound, you can do that for a couple more bucks, or you can put them in a binder, which is what I try to do. Um, and you know, so you can keep them organized and use those creative kit tabs to organize them, but you can also do them like there's, there's easy ways that you can do them digitally too. And Mm -hmm. so what I do recommend on that one download for each Bible study or can I, yes. So the answer to that is there's one download for each study. So you can download it multiple times. Yes. Right. But it's not like you have to download three different things for each study. Okay, now the creative kits have more than one download just because they're so large. They're, and they're because there's a download for elements and a download for papers in a lot of them. But the Bible studies is one download for each study. Now, it's one PDF. That's why it's one long PDF. What you just saw is one PDF. Now, one thing I will say is that if you are trying to download them all onto a, an iPad or your phone, you probably will not have enough space. Yeah. So uh, my recommendation is to download them onto like an external hard drive. If you don't have that much room on your computer or into its own folder and then use them one at a time, right? And you can even print them out week by week or lesson by lesson if you're printing them at home. There's no, you don't have to print out all 50 pages at once. If there's a 35 pages in the study, for example, just print out one one lesson at a time um, if you don't want to go and have it printed. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. But I would definitely recommend you go ahead and download all the studies onto either a computer that can hold them or an external hard drive. So that way they're yours. They're yours forever. Yeah. Yeah. So Jean, I think part of your question was, can you m- download them to multiple different places? And the answer is yes. Yes. So if you want to keep that and, and we recommend that because if your computer crashes, then you lose everything. So like put them onto a drive, put them onto an iPad, mm-hmm. you know, have them in various places so that you can access them. But they'll fill up your iPad quick. So don't put them all on there. Yeah. Do one at a time onto your iPad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. and I like um, Kathleen's tip. She says you can open the PDF in MS Word and it will make it fillable or use Adobe license and you can convert it to fillable. So good. There- That's a great tip. Yeah. Good. Um, okay. So yeah, um, printing or view um Rishi Blunt, I download the PDF, convert it to text and fill fill them in. Okay, that's great. Yeah, because Rishi, you've done some of our studies before. That's fantastic. Um, okay, so what other questions do you guys have about this? Are there any questions? Mm, I'm trying to make sure that we've covered all the basics. Uh, bottom line is even, we do not expect you to do all 50 Bible studies because honestly, you'll be doing them for the next five, six years if, you, if you're very consistent with them because they are they take a while to do one. Yeah. But even if you find two, one or two, two or three topics that interest you that you want to work through, um, then we've made the, the price such that it is, uh, it's worth it for you because these studies sell for 25 to $35 each, um, in our shop every day. That's, that's the, that's how we sell them every day. So this is a really unique opportunity. And again, um, we're not finished with Sojo. We're not done with Sojo. We're changing it up a little bit and we think it's going to be awesome. So, um, so if you're, if, you know, if you still want to do something with a a group of people, then that's going to be a great option for you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a time? Oh, we'd love to, well, I would just want to say, we'd love to see you guys who are not in Sojo Academy join us for our September yeah. to December focus. 
Uh, is there a time limit to downloading the study? Should we do this right away when we purchase it or do we have weeks to do it? You have time. Here's what we have said. We can't say they're going to be there forever because we're hosting them on a website that might not be there forever. We don't know. But we will definitely promise you that you'll have access for at least six months. Um, isn't that what we said, AJ? That's what yes. I was. I yes. That's what I, right. I committed to somebody for that. So um, because, I mean, we just, you know, with hosting and and we don't know what's going to happen in the future. You know, two years down the road, we might have to change hosts and then they won't be available anymore. So because it costs us to host the studies, I mean, we pay every month to keep these Bible studies on the Internet, so to speak, so that you can have download links. And um, and 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 that's part of our expense for Sojo Academy that we we incur and we do it willingly. We knew that's an expense for online business, but we don't want to promise you that you've got five years to download them because we don't know what's going to happen with hosting. Right. But yeah. you will have a few months, so <laughs> you don't have to like do it today for sure. Right. Right. Um, any recommendations for our first one or two studies as someone who knows just the basics about the Bible? Um, that's a really good question, Lynn. I would ask you what your goals are um, before I really answer that question. If you want to <clears throat> learn more about a specific book of the Bible, or if you want um, a, to learn more about a person, like what is your goal? If it's just to learn more about scripture, I would probably suggest starting with one of our New Testament book studies. Um, personally, I would probably vote for Galatians because that's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, but I would Jen, vote for Colossians because that's one of my favorites. Yep. So, but Jen's <laughs> would be different. So I think it really depends on your goal. And that's where the cheat sheets really do come in handy. Um, we take you step by step through, okay, what is it that you want and kind of help guide you into choosing your first study. And that's going to be different for every person. Um, but I would definitely probably, if you're new to the Bible, I would probably say, start with one of the book studies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think, or I think that's a good idea. Even the passage studies, like we have yeah. Romans eight and we have Joshua one through six, which is, I know it's old so Testament, good. but it's still very funda fundamental, mm -hmm. foundational, I should say. Um, Joseph, the yeah. Joseph study is a great one that is foundational for like the people of God in the history. You learn a lot of history of the Bible mm -hmm. in the Joseph study. I can't remember what we call it. I think it may be just the life of Joseph. I don't remember, but it is because it's from Genesis. So, um, yeah, so that's where that cheat sheet does come in. Or, or, you know, the Lord's prayer, if that's something that you want to, to learn more about, um, and to improve your prayer life, you know, that's another really good, passage mm -hmm. study so mm -hmm. there's so many there's so many. there's so there there really is so many there's so many um let's see here um mal hey mal by the way good to see you again um the sojo is 29 dollars a month is how much it how much it is and it includes this it includes of course bible study but it is a spiritual growth community so it includes the meetings and also the library of resources which is six years in the making it's a so lot yeah we, we have lot. way too much yeah. to be able to watch in there but you can pick and choose resources in there and uh and then of course the community aspect of it we have a community that um that that you know answers each other's questions prays for each other and we are just a, it's just a beautiful community of women those of you who are in it I and mean, we just we just adore adore our social sisters so so that's what that is yeah, um, it, is, it is like before, but we, like we talked about earlier, we are changing the structure and we're adding those small groups coming in September. So very soon. Yeah. And um, we're changing the Bible study structure. Right. So, yeah. So we want, we really want to equip you guys to be feet on the ground kind of believers. So. Um, Jean, at the moment, the studies are still available in the Sojo shop, in Sojo shop. That's hard to say three times, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, individually. So you can purchase them individually um, if you want to. They're $35 individually. And so if you purchase one and a half of them, it will be the same as purchasing 50 today. So if you have that opportunity. Yeah. Could I ask another question? Sorry. Yeah. Sure. Me again. Um. So, so if I got the, um, the Bible studies and the cheat sheet and the, um, creative bundle, 
and then later down the line if I realized that at church we're going to do something like that as a group can I buy the group license later or do I have to buy it now does that make sense yeah it makes sense sense. we haven't talked about that but we haven't talked about it I my my first inkling is to say I don't see why not yeah. If you purchase the bundle, you could just get in touch with us and and purchase the group license. If you guys start going through it and you realize, oh, this study would be so great for this small group. Yeah. Yeah. Then um you could contact us. I don't see why not why we couldn't make that available. And um it's a lot to pay out time. now yeah, without no. knowing that I just wondered if we one time that. offer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's great. Thank yeah, you. I completely understand that. And so, I mean, we had not discussed it, but I don't really see a big, a big um, reason why we couldn't. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that at all. So any more questions, guys, I will say that someone emailed in this morning and you guys are going to, y'all stayed like a long time on this call. So I'm going to, I'm going to say this too. Um, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> So what are you gonna did, say? Oh, you never even told your story. I know. Well, they're not interested in it, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but someone someone emailed this morning and they were like, I don't get paid until Monday. Can you hold it for me until Monday? So if there are if there's anybody here who really wants you know you want this, but you know like you can't get it until a certain time, just email us. You know, I mean, obviously within reason, we're not talking like a month from now, but in the next week or so, then just email us. I mean, we really do want to make this available um, and we do understand finances. So, but we just can't keep it, keep it like this forever. So um, just, you know, bear with us and we'll bear with you. Mm Mm-hmm. So, oh, Jean says you have to get back to work, but you want to hear my story. (laughs) Okay. I know. I know. I cannot believe we've talked for an hour. Like I cannot believe. Okay. I know. I actually had people texting me. I'm like, Ooh. Okay. I know. Okay. So let me, let me share it really quickly. So the hardest study I have ever written, I'm going to tell you the story of the hardest study I've ever written. Ooh, do I know this story? I don't know. I don't know. But this okay so it's actually one of the very first studies i wrote and it is in your bundle it's called cultivating unshakable confidence but when i originally wrote it it was called something different and the reason why this was the hardest story i ever wrote hard, hardest study i ever wrote is because in this study we look at the life of jeroboam I and just, i don't know if you just showed this study this yeah, is the study you just yeah, up and showed. yeah this is one of them So Jeroboam was a nobody, right? He was, he didn't have a father. His mom was a widow and he was a servant of Solomon. He was one of Solomon's servants. So he, he was literally a nobody. And yet God told him that he was going to give him 10 of the tribes. So there's 12 tribes of Israel, right? He was going to take 10 of the tribes away from Solomon because Solomon had caved to idolatry and he was going to give them to Jeroboam. And he said, but not only that, but if you will trust me and if you will obey me, if you will listen to my commands, I will establish you and I will give you all of Israel. And so that's great, right? So he has all of these precious promises from God. And yet in his mind, there's a verse that says in his mind, he started thinking. And that right there grabbed me so hard because what Jeroboam did is he started listening to his thoughts. And his thoughts made him afraid. And he started thinking, but what if these people of Israel start wanting David's line back? What if they start turning away from me and start following David's son, which was, which was Rehoboam, right? So Jeroboam and Rehoboam. And, and those fears and that insecurity began to play and build up and build and build and build. And so what he ended up doing, he came, he concocted this plan and he said, okay, I'm going to set up idols right here in Dan and in Bethel close so that they don't have to go to Israel and worship there. Because if they go over there, they may start wanting to follow that King. 
And so his fear and insecurity led him not only to personal idolatry, but to lead the entire nation into idolatry. And then you read king after king after king after king in the books of Kings. You read over and over and over again. They followed the sins of Jeroboam and they followed the sins of Jeroboam over generation after generation after generation. And God used that to really not just step on my toes, but really to give me a good spiritual discipline, a, a whipping, you know, to say, are you going to allow your fears and insecurities to prevent you from claiming the purpose and the legacy that I have for you? Or are you going to trust in my promises? And this is one of the reasons why praying the promises of God is so near and dear to my heart, because ladies, we have to constantly remind our hearts, our hearts and our minds, our self-talk will lead us astray so quickly. If we're listening to those things, we cannot allow ourselves to do that. We have to remember the promises of God, all that he's given us, all that he has said he will do for us again and again and again. And so if you are struggling with fear right now, there's so much fear going on and the world's a mess, right? We know there's reason to be afraid. We cannot listen to that. We cannot. We have to deliberately turn ourselves to the promises of God. So if there's any one assignment that I would give for you today, if you're struggling with fear and insecurity, sit down with a pack of three by five note cards and write out, hand write out three to five of the promises of God that you know you can cling to. And every time one of those fears or thoughts comes into your head, get out that card and remind yourself of the truth of God's promises to you because that we, we need it. We need all of us to be doing that. Mm -hmm. There's my story. <laughs> Good. That was my story. The hardest study. It still haunts me. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, the thing I think about the most about that study is it was, I think our very first or second podcast um, series. We actually, I re the reason I think it's the first is because we did it in one day. And yeah. so, um, so yes, yeah, so I remember going through that and, mm -hmm. and it is, even though that's been two and a half years since we went through that study, that's, that's what, that's what, that's what we're saying about these, these Bible studies and the Bible itself. I mean, the Holy Spirit it's speaks so to us and then yeah. he reminds yeah. us of these truths as yeah. we continue to encounter circumstances where we need it, where we need it. So mm -hmm. I, I love that. I love that. So, yeah. uh, well, Kim, it was so good to have you and everybody. It was great to have you. Um, and we are excited. Well, if there's any other questions, we'll, we'll be glad to answer them. Yeah. And um, I'm going to leave the link here one more time, just for anybody who may have popped on later and wants to know where to go grab the bundle. Um, that's the main link. And then you will walk through the checkout process where you can add those other things to your order, the cheat sheet, the group license and the creative bundle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And we're excited too. And we would love yes, to hear Lynn, from welcome. You. We would love to hear back from you as well. If you, you know, with what you started with and email us at any time, because it's so encouraging for us. And then if you're in Sojo or if you want to join us for Sojo, we would love that too. We'd love to get to know you personally and uh, continue to study God's word with you in that special way. Yep. All right. You guys All have right. a good afternoon. Is that it? I think we caught everything, didn't we, AJ? I think so. I think we're good. good. It was nice to see you guys and we'll see you hopefully very soon. Thanks. Bye guys. Thanks.